噔噔噔噔。And guess who was born in this city right here? Have you made your guess? Well, I put your answer in the comments. And the and the person that got right here is me. That's right. So we are in the birthplace where my daughter was born. And we're just gonna um, try to bring the camera around and kind of show it and kind of uh, make a little video for it so that she has something to remember this by. So we're gonna check it all out. We kind of have to document some of this a little bit. So we're in Hirakata. Mm -hmm. Where I was born. Where she was born. Mm. All right. And the hospital that she was born in was right over that way. So we're going to do that. But we're just kind of checking out. There's some really interesting stuff. Here's something called Hirakata Tea Site. And then there's a big thing with a bunch of books all along the wall there. And there's a, something called Sutaya Books. So I guess that must be like a multiple level bookstore. Pretty cool place. And then there's a giant supermarket that goes indoors as well. So we got all kinds of cool stuff here. And we're gonna um, check it all out. And, and we're also gonna YouTube it so we have some um, some memories of it a little bit as well. Yeah! I haven't been here since I was six months old! Ten years ago. So let's go check it all out. Let's go, let's walk around a little bit. Let's go! It looks like they have, I remember this from before, they had all these um, kind of ramps. Oh, there's, um, look how big that bookstore is. There's actually Sutaya Books is over here too. And there's a giant Starbucks. Yeah, the city you were born in has a huge bookstore. That bookstore is so huge that it's like... Remember it even goes up here? Up there? <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. multiple levels and it's also down, yeah. downstairs as well. So... Even downstairs has a, has a life supermarket. Do you realize that this bookstore would be that big? Yeah, yeah I, I didn't... I don't... I, uh, of course, I was here too 10 years ago, but I don't remember that bookstore being quite like that. Anyways, we're gonna explore some more and film it. Oh. So good. So good. So there he is over there. Yeah, and there's a park and um, yeah, we're gonna look for something to eat. <laughs> so actually the kids, what's up there? What do you see? So the kids, actually, this was actually here 10 years ago. You wanna do a little dance? <laughs> yeah. So this is a little area, so they have this little, um, and then there's a Kaya's uh, bag. Okay, documenting Hirakata, we're right downtown. Things are really built up around stations, so this is kind of the most built up spot. You got 24 hour gym over there. You got a bunch of kind of cool restaurants. And uh, that's the bookstore over that way. I think we're gonna go this way, because I think I remember some kind of cool shops and things. I just, um, my daughter was born here and my son would have lived here as well. And he was born in a different city. But I kind of remember walking around and seeing some kind of cool stuff over this direction, so we're gonna walk over there as well and see if it's still the same. So I think we have to go across here, if I remember right. 
And then across this way. We're gonna kind of meander around a little bit. Kind of cool stuff like that in Japan. I kind of remember some kind of cool looking streets here and there. So we're just going to try to find them. So Daiso right over there. That's that walkway that goes up. I mean, Daiso is huge here, right? We got them in Macau, but it's so much bigger here. See what's inside Daiso? Like, oh, look, this is a grocery store right there. That's huge already. Kinds of stuff up in there. Oh yeah, I think I can't remember this now. I think over here, there's kind of a cool street. I think the hospital you were born in was straight ahead up that way. And there's also some um, ramen and noodle shops there. And I think I remember the street down here was kind of a cool street. Oh, this one. Here it is on the back side. I think that was also interesting too. But I think this back side over here, I think I remember this being kind of a cool little space. Yeah, this is it. So I remember this, like coming into the street, but just how cool it is. It's kind of a pretty street, right? And then you got these little alleys like that. And like this, and like this. Pretty cool. And we can keep walking, and we'll walk through this green light as well. That's a hospital over there, I think. That is? Yeah, I think that's the hospital you were born in. So Aeon. There's an Aeon Mall right there. There's actually a lot of stuff in your in the place that you were born. Pretty, pretty cool. Should probably should grab something to eat around here. But there's so much cool stuff around here that. train line oh yeah I think I remember this there's like over here there's like um, yeah there's like a little park here maybe we could take a look and see I think that's the different kind of noodle we're looking for like a ramen noodle like this really oh yeah and there's also some cool stuff up here too anyways we got all kinds of interesting stuff in Hirakata birthplace of my daughter and there's a map so we'll just bring the camera up to here and I just oh, I, do, I do remember all this kind of cool stuff too actually there's a lot of interesting stuff that we can walk around in this area so I think what we should do is get something to eat right so maybe we'll come back and uh and we'll get something to eat up here somewhere. You like that idea? Yeah. Me too. We haven't really had any, we haven't had our ramen noodles yet that we want to get.
This is on the way to the hospital that my daughter was born. So we kind of are up above a little bit. And I think we have to go through this KM communication center and then on the other side is the oh there's ice cream sandwiches over there in that vending machine. <laughs> Relaxing. Actually, this is kind of nice little space in here. So she was born in this hospital, and we're gonna bring the camera in there for a little bit of a glimpse in a moment. But that is the place right there. Okay, this is the hospital that Kai was born in, and it's like super clean, like super super clean, and it's so peaceful too. It's like it's so efficient and peaceful. It's so um, it's so different than the Macau, right? It's like so peaceful and quiet and like efficient, you know. When you're in Macau, it feels kind of chaotic and unorganized. Yeah, people are like, but here it's like super quiet. We're the we're the loudest people in here. And it's like so efficient. Of all these places to sit, there's so many places that people. So, anyways, that's a little glimpse of the um, of the hospital. You remember being born here? The clock? You remember the clock? This clock? Is the clock that's outside? Wow. So we're going to check that out too. So this was the hospital that she was born in. We're going to keep on doing a little tour of Hirakata, do a little documentation of it, so we have this record of it. Oh, that's interesting you remember that clock. It does kind of seem familiar to me as well. It's like the only clock I know that doesn't look like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. I once had a dream about it, like the same hospital. I was only six. Very, very cool. I remember my dreams. I remember the time where I was, I was eight years old. I got a dream that that I was here in Japan, and then there was random dinosaurs. Wait, no, that was not Japan. That was that was in America. I don't know what city, but then. It was all English, so I think it's America. Huh. And then there was like dinosaurs chasing after us. That, well, not dinosaurs, just a, just a dinosaur, not dinosaurs. A dinosaur is chasing after the whole city, ruining everything. Godzilla, something like Godzilla. Yeah, it sounds like him, but then it's just a normal dinosaur. And then it, there was only me, my brother. Same as this, but then, but then we climbed up a thing that that workers were still building, and we thought we would be okay from the dinosaur. But then actually, we weren't okay. Me, I got separated from my brother and the other person, and then the dinosaur ate me, and then that's when I went.
So here's the pachinko parlor. So we got a pachinko parlor right near the Hirakata station. And what we're going to be doing is walking um, towards the university campus. And I kind of remember this now. There's like a pachinko parlor that I don't remember if this was here, but I remember this little alley to the left. And then you go around that way. Maybe we're just going to take a little quick turn to the left because I just want to see. Because we used to come through here all the time to come to the station. We'd walk from that road. We would come into this area here and we would um, come to the station in here. Sun Plaza. And these people are usually a lot of college students who come in here and they would come to the station down here. But it looks like kind of under construction and not so interesting. But this is where we would be at. So anyways, we're going to be going up to the station next. So this is a little bit more of Hirakata. It's tiny, mm -hmm. but I like it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> going to keep the camera on just a little bit more because we're going to go around the 7-Eleven. So I remember coming down to 7-Eleven to go to the station. So this was kind of like the most common route. Oh yeah, there we go. That's right. I think they want to take a look at it. You want to take a look inside? We're going to be going over this river right here. And most of the most of the people coming down are usually students from Kanzai Gaidai. And Kanzai Gaidai is a university that's way over there. And we're going to be walking over there. That's also part of Hirakata as well. And we also have this uh, kind of river walk as well. So we're going to be going over along that in a moment. And we're going to show you the river in a moment because we have it right up here. And there's the other view on the other side as well. And there we go. Did we get to? We got a dove there. It's like a peaceful dove. And we can walk all along down this. There's a path that goes quite a ways. And um, yeah, another little slice of uh, Hirakata. So yeah, people who are used, to, who are familiar with uh, Hiragata, this is kind of the main spot that all the students go down. And we're gonna go across. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, actually, Hirakata is a good town to ride a bike because it's a. There's a lot of stuff at the station, but then it's kind of spread out. Like to get to the university, it's hard. And we can take down this. We can take this path. I haven't been on this path in ten years. You've been on this path as well, but you were probably in a stroller, or in somebody's arms. And this way would have. 
ran down this path for sure. I also remember taking bikes going up here as well. And this is the store where Tyler went from the university campus to get a train. So he went to this place right here in this chaos. We're gonna briefly go inside and see if Tyler can remember that or not. See if the boy can remember that or not. Let's see if he walks into and stays there or just walk by. Yeah. Very interesting. How he does that. He's looking in there. He's walking slowly. Wanna go in there, Tyler? He has a kind of smile. I think he wants to go inside. Wanna go inside? Let's go inside. I guess he does remember. It looks like he kind of looks like he does. So there's a little story with with uh, the boy when he was about, I guess he left here at four and a half years old. But he um, he ran one kilometer when he was about three to three or four years old, about four, maybe a little before, a little after, which is really small. And he ran about one kilometer. To get a train and everybody was looking for him they didn't know where he went and the train is in this place and we're seeing if he kind of remembers it or not but we'll find out we'll report back to you i think he's kind of looking around and... now we're going to go towards the university so we're just going to um this is kind of a main shopping street right here and so we're just going to walk along it a little bit and then we're going to go up up a hill a little bit and we're going to go to university and continue on seeing more of Hirakata, documenting it so that this girl can remember it well into the future. A little idea of what it looked like. It looks pretty similar to 10 years ago. Imagine I'm 10 years old now and when I'm 20 years old, that's when I come back. That's right. That would be so cool. I think it'll happen. Coming back here in like 10 years, and I'm like 20 years old. Yeah, I think it'll happen. I think it'll, uh, you want it to happen, it will. Um, let me see. I think we're gonna walk up one of these hills to the left pretty soon, but this is, um, Another little taste of Hirakata. Um, I think we're gonna go up this one. So to get up to University to Kansai Gaidai, we had to kind of go up these back roads. So we're gonna try to go up that way and try to remember. It's also been a while for me as well, and. Um, But it was somewhere like in here, and I'll try to see if my memory kind of jogs a little bit. But there's kind of cool housing in here as well. <laughs> and this is kind of like the way that people live in this area. Like they'll have these houses, but they're kind of like, um, like feels temporary. Like they're not made out of like, because of the earthquakes and everything like that, they're not made out of like, you know, thousand year lasting material. It just kind of lasts for a, I don't know how long, but but anyways, we're gonna walk into it, and we're gonna try to navigate up to Kansai Gaidai. So here we are in Hirakata. Yeah, let's go that way. I'm gonna get a picture of you guys while you're up there. So we we're trying to go up that way, but it looks like we have to go. A different way but I used to go 10 years ago there was these paths to go up there and now they say that you can't go up that way so we were kind of exploring a little bit so I guess we'll have to find a different way and um, 
But we are gonna go up to Hirakata for sure. Kind of a nice pleasant street. Yeah, Japan's a real nice place, eh? Amazing that, that we used to live here. Okay. All right. So we'll check out more of Hirakata. So we're here, Kansai Gai Dai. I didn't know. Yep. Yeah. So in Tyler used to would have hid some trains around here and everything. This is the basketball court, and this is where all the teachers used to live, right up there. So, and, uh, and I don't, and, um, there's a group up there. Yeah, it looks like the gates are open, which is, which was they always were before as well. But yeah, so all the teachers live over here. So we used to live here too, so we're gonna walk through here. So we're in something called the Tanimono Buka Center, and so we used to live in in this area, but not these doors. But we're gonna go to the door that we used to live in before. And then the university campus is right straight ahead. So yep, yeah, Hirakata. So we're gonna go to the place where the kids used to live when they were really little. You were there. Oh. So you used to live in here too? Oh yeah. Up until you were about six months old. Oh, yeah. And the one that we used to live in was right around the corner. And so it's Tani Motobuka Center and then Someday, if you try to come here again, it'll be 112. Do you want to just live here? Yep. Oh, 112. And now somebody else lives here. And at that time that we used to live here, our mailbox was over here. And this will be on camera, so if you want to try to find it someday. Oh, this is funny. Like 10 years ago, we used to leave stuff here, and anybody could take it. Because there's always teachers that were leaving all the time. And it says that, do not leave any items. And it looks like now they change it, like, because they give it a date, like. So that used to be our front door. So yeah, if you ever try to come here someday, we used to live in 112 Tanimoto Bunko Center on Kansai Gaidai campus. And we used to live right there in that, that apartment. There. Looks like somebody might even be there. Still here. This Indian restaurant was here 10 years ago and it's still here now. Yeah, there's a picture with, um, oh, actually that picture was you and mom was pregnant. And she was sitting right here with Faye and mom had a big stomach and you were in the stomach. And that would have been inside this restaurant right here. So mom has that photo I just saw it the other day.
Minha 